people around the world who don't have access to safe water and more than 4 billion who don't have access to sanitary conditions. And that's according to Water Mission. That nonprofit Water Mission has been working to provide the world with access to safe water for more than 20 years now, and they've just announced a new pilot program. Our Autumn Klein joins us live from the nonprofit's home in North Charleston. So Autumn, tell us a little bit more about Water Mission's new partnership and the project that people can help with. Shelby, Katie, Water Mission has just announced a partnership with Compassion International, a Christian-based organization dedicated to releasing children from poverty. Together, the two organizations will work to bring access to safe water to a community in Malawi. A lot of planning has gone into this program, referred to as WASH, which stands for Water, Sanitation, and Hygiene. This project will serve over 6,000 people in Malawi. Water Mission emphasizes that they want more than just to put infrastructure into place. They want to put people, systems, and processes in place so that the community can operate, maintain, and sustain this access to safe water long term. That is why their first step is to set the foundation with putting good leadership in the community. Once the leadership is in place, the next step is to drill the well and put the water pumps in. Following that, they will put solar panels into place because this area has no power, so solar array is necessary for these pumps to work. David Inman with Water Mission told me about a 15-year-old girl named Rebecca who spends much of her days getting water for her family, even sometimes missing school. It resonated with me because I have four daughters and one of them is 15 years old just like Rebecca. And I always help my daughters understand that it's a blessing to be able to turn on a faucet in a house and have safe water flowing out of a faucet. And uh, the majority of the world doesn't experience that blessing. And so it, it resonated with me because I thought about um, the way our lives would be different if we were um, spending that much time each day just um, taking care of our daily water needs, um, whereas we have it so convenient. They were able to fund this massive project in Malawi with the help of donors who have invested in this project for several years. Inman says that he hopes their partnership with Compassion International grows and continues for many years to come. Live in North Charleston, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.